suis un journaliste tunisien. Si la Tunisie passe à la phase de poule, victoire, la chaîne Rwanda 2016, ça sera pour nous. Action at the Nyami Rambo Stadium in Kigali on Tuesday in Group C. Places in the quarterfinals are up for grabs and the Carthage Eagles of Tunisia play the Mena of Niger. And the Tunisians from the outset are the most dangerous. They open the scoring in the fifth minute through a goal from Saïd Boujir. And they play with more and more precision and purpose and Boujir gets his second goal in the 38th minute. Niger end up conceding three more goals. After a good confrontation, Tunisia win the match 5-0 in the best way possible. When we see what Tunisia have, their squad is near the level of an A team. We lack experience, but it's a team that will grow. You have to work. We did lack some cohesion, but in every game we're gaining it, and I hope the outcome will be favourable to us for the quarter-finals. The quarter-final is not a pool, it's quite another, it's a knockout stage now. I hope that the victory will be for us. Top of Group D and in control of their own destiny, the Super Eagles of Nigeria only needed a point to book their place in the quarter-finals. Guinea, on the other hand, had to beat the Eagles to stay in contention. Seconds before the break, Elsini Kamara fed the ball to Dawuda Kamara, who spotted Ibrahima sank on free, the midfielder scrambling the ball into the back of the net to put Guinea ahead. Nigeria coach Sunday Olize played his trump card with the introduction of Onyedi Akachi, but it wasn't enough, they left it too late. Full-time whistle brought several Nigerian players to their knees, Nigeria heading home in what is the biggest upset of the competition so far. You know, youth tournament is a, it's an, it's an adult tournament, and there are certain things that must be present if you want to go far and win a, an adult tournament, and um, that's what my players see existing in other teams that we don't have in our team. I'm so satisfied with the qualification of our team and our first chance participation to eliminate Nigeria at this level takes us into the last eight. Coming next in the Chan 2016, Zambia's victory over Uganda in the second round means the Chipolopolos will finish top with a draw or a win. Mali, their opponents, will qualify with a point. For Uganda, they'll be banking on a defeat for Mali and a win over Zimbabwe with a better goal count than the Eagles. <laughs> 